Well, a south side man went on a mission after getting two parking tickets near his apartment. He wanted to know, do north siders get as many tickets as he does? He and CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker take a closer look. Let's park that right here. Too close to the stop sign, violating the 30 feet limit. So Devon Favor has gotten not one, but two $60 tickets he deserved. And I feel that it's a ticket trap. Why? Favors argues there are not enough no parking signs in his South Shore neighborhood warning drivers this is illegal. And he argues North Side communities like Roscoe Village have more warning signs. If somebody parks, they know it because you see a sign next to a stop sign. Based on Favors complaints, we compared 38 blocks in South Shore's O'Keefe area to a much larger 65 blocks in Roscoe Village. In South Shore, 35% of the stop signs have warning signs posted. In Roscoe Village, it's 65%. It bothers me. Um, I, I don't know if it's race-based. I know it's unfair. What also seems unfair? The amount of money collected by the Department of Revenue from 2007 through 2017 from the two very different communities. In Roscoe Village, with a median income of $110,000, we crunched raw data from ProPublica and found residents here paid or owed $63,226 in fines, fees, and penalties for stop sign tickets. South Shore's median income is just 28000 but the ticket tally is $152,841, more than double. We have to have immediate action from the city. We went to his alderman, Leslie Hairston, for answers. Does it make sense to make an appeal for more warnings? I, I can do that. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Favor says his neighborhood needs 74 signs. CDOT tells us it would cost $150 to install each sign. Will his neighborhood get more signs? Dorothy Tucker has more on the story tonight at 10.